Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at the Iceberg booth on behalf of Turkey's uh, leading logistics and automotive newspaper and media company. I give you a warmly welcome also to Hasan Bey. Hasan Bey is uh, the general manager of Lufthansa Cargo here in Turkey. Yes. Welcome and hoş geldiniz. Thank you very much and hoş bulduk. <laughs> <laughs> Hasan Bey. Yes. Please. You are working for Lufthansa Cargo since 1986. Yes. You're a real professional businessman in air freight business. This year you are, or next year you are celebrating your 30th anniversary years. in the yes. company. What makes air freight business so exciting from your point of view? Actually, air freight business, it's, when I started in Izmir, it's, as you said, 90 years ago, uh, It, it was a 20-inch container, okay? In the container, we had only uh, seat atelex mm -hmm. and one telephone. And uh, yeah, it was really very busy times, but with very uh, kind of, if you compare now uh, with today's condition, the state of the art tools and everything, it's changed a lot. Uh -huh. And, but still, compared to 30 years, it's still a people business. And that's, make me very attractive, that I love. You can have, an, uh, you can have a lot of network, you can uh, learn a lot of people. So that makes for me very interesting to By work way, already 30 years with full energy. We can see it in your face, you're yeah. smiling still. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, which means that you don't have that much customer pressure right now, right? Yeah, I have a lot of customers pressure <laughs> because a lot of customers are coming here, but uh -huh. unless you can give a good service and a good quality, uh -huh. so you are in a good position to serve your customer. Hassan Bey, if you are looking back to the professional background from yourself and to the th almost 30 years in that business area, how has air freight business changed over the years? Actually, it has modernized, uh -huh. as I have mentioned, compared to past, and it is more flexible now. You can uh, reach uh, with ev all kinds of tools, uh -huh. even your customers in South Africa, very easily. That has changed a lot, and uh, that's what I can say, actually. I mean, modernized and more flexible and easy to deal with compared uh -huh. to the past. Uh -huh. And I in terms of Turkey, uh, coming to Turkey, Turkey has also one additional advantage, the size, the growth rate in the industry. I mean, if I compare the 10 years ago, every year we had two digit of growth rates every year, mm -hmm. which makes big difference, really. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really very uh, a kind of uh, uh, hard work mm -hmm. here, what we are doing, uh, all kind of players in the industry, in air cargo industry, yeah. We will come back to the Turkish air freight market in a few minutes. Okay. I assume that most of our guests here at Logitrans have arrived via the Ataturk Havalimani. Mm -hmm. This is assumed to be a bottleneck. How do you yeah. see the Atatürk airport actually from a freight perspective? Actually, let me start with the Atatürk location. Atatürk airport. It's a fascinating location. Uh -huh. Very close to the all uh, European uh, uh, industries and also the fair areas uh, uh, on the European side. However, as you said, it's a challenging working there because it has already reach the maximum limits uh, on passenger uh, uh, numbers and also cargo From flow. Cargo related. That's, uh, that's uh, uh, there. Due to this reason, also there are a lot of uh, uh, slot problems, which you cannot get easily. So which means uh, you are really looking forward to the third new mega airport here in Istanbul. You can say that. We, can, we cannot, uh, uh, from the Lufthansa cargo perspective, actually uh, we cannot get uh, additional slot, for example, despite of uh, huge uh, growth numbers. And on top, f it's also valid for the newcomers, uh, new airlines. Also those airlines who are ex uh, existing here cannot enlarge and the newcomers cannot get slots. Uh -huh. So uh, it's actually only one carrier uh, which can benefit out of is uh, the, the uh, actually Turkish Airlines, yeah. mm -hmm. not the others. Lufthansa Cargo is using so far the Frankfurt Airport as a European yes. hub or also as a global hub together with Vienna or Munich, for example. Yes. Is your management in Frankfurt afraid of opening the third new mega airport here in Istanbul? Would that have any 
major change in air freight business for major air forwarding companies like Lufthansa or Turkish Airlines or also the DHL hub in Leipzig? Actually, air freight, as you know, uh, Leipzig has opened, has been opened, mm -hmm. and uh, didn't affect so much Frankfurt. And we do believe still uh, that uh, Frankfurt will remain for Lufthansa Cargo the main hub mm -hmm. because of the industries. It is the heart of the, uh, I mean, the biggest uh, uh, export nation is still yeah. Germany. Yeah. So we do benefit out of it, and Frankfurt will be main hub. So there is no reason to be afraid or something uh, like the other hubs opened, uh, for example, Leipzig and others, even our so you hubs merely, in Vienna uh, internal You really see it as an additional business opportunity? There are a lot of additional business opportunities, especially for the Lufthansa Cargo local organization here. Mm -hmm. As you have mentioned, we may have uh, additional slot possibilities. Even we can change very easily the flight patterns. The construction work for the new mega airport already has started. Yes. It's to be planned to be opened in 2017, 2018. It's, it will be depending on the progress of the work. This airport is coming in a time where air freight business is suffering under market conditions. Mm -hmm. Would you say the best times of air freight business has already gone? I mean, from a margin perspective? From, um, I would say, uh, no, it's not the end, it's not gone. Uh, uh, there are a lot of challenges. However, there are, there are also a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. None of the, uh, none of the uh, kind of, uh, 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 like if you compare with the land and sea, none of them can compete with air in terms of speed. Mm -hmm. How so. do you evaluate in this context the aggressive competition coming from Turkish Airlines or also the companies from the near Middle East? I would like to repeat myself. It will, it's, it's a challenge, uh -huh. obviously, especially a challenge on the yields, market yields, which is not only uh, valid for Lufthansa cargo, it is for the entire air cargo market. And, uh, but uh, uh, we as Lufthansa cargo, as we continue, mm -hmm. and it's our aim and it's our goal to continue, it's our strategy to continue with the quality services so uh, we have no fear and uh, we look positive uh, to the future. Hassan Bey, the most um, discussed topic actually in the logistics industry is uh, the keyword around uh, digitalization and industry 4.0. Mm -hmm. What kind of requirements do your customers have towards Lufthansa Cargo when it comes to e-freight services, etc.? Actually, digitization is, uh, uh, we are leader, let's put it like that. We are also a key player in mm -hmm. terms of digitization for the industry. And uh, we have established a lot of, a lot of working groups, mm -hmm. uh, even in Turkey, uh, also the, together with Turkish Airlines and uh, also uh, IATA, uh, we are working in that direction. That Lufthansa globally and also locally here, yeah. our aim is uh, to digitize all our services uh, 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 electronically uh, uh, in 2020, 2020, it's our aim, it's a challenge, it's a big challenge, but together with the entire industry, uh, with our partners, with our customers, and with, uh, with all other players, uh, we can reach that goal. And it's important to digitize. If you compare, for example, with passenger services uh, and uh, others as a banking sector, uh, cargo still not reach that level. There are a lot of to-dos, and uh, so we are working on that. Looking to your internal processes, how would you estimate currently the automatization degree of your internal Lufthansa cargo processes within the global network? Actually, uh, we have started last year uh, to, uh, uh, to have in all countries in, on our organization uh, to reach the e available, actually to, uh, to have the e available in all these countries. And also this year, uh, we have rolled out a new IT system worldwide mm -hmm. to at least capable to do all these transactions. Uh -huh. So uh, we are in line, as I said, it's a challenge, big challenge until 2020. However, in our strategy, e-freight, e-cargo is uh, 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 one of the major uh, uh, pillar. We are working on it. Turkey is always called as being a pure Eurasian logistics hub. 
from my point of view, if Turkey wants really to be awarded with that kind of name, then infrastructure needs to be advanced yeah. on the railway, airports, motorways, etc. From your point of view, what needs to be done from the Turkish government to modernize and to bring the Turkish logistics ahead to be to that kind of your Eurasian hub? Actually, uh, uh, Professor Eskan, there are a lot of to-dos also for the government mm. to ease the processes, especially the governmental organizations has to support the, the uh, kind of transport chains uh, to make it easier. Uh, only one example I can give, uh, we have uh, created a, a group for uh, e-available and e-cargo three years ago and all players are uh, in that uh, and we are heavily working on it and uh, uh, on the other side already three four years the customs systems could not be integrated to the entire chain mm. and this kind of problems needs to be solved and this kind of uh, uh, steps has to be done by the governmental organizations that's the point where digitalization is starting, right? Exactly. In the supply yeah. chain and not exactly. far beyond. Yeah. Hassan Bey, we started this interview with uh, some questions on your professional background. Mm -hmm. Let's close it in the same direction. When looking to the Turkish logistics talents, what kind of recommendations do you have for them for their professional career in the Turkish logistics market, especially in the air freight? Actually, I personally find those talents very important. That's why I also participate. It's been already four years I am here in almost all universities. I even went to those universities which is 600 kilometers away from here uh -huh. to make conferences to take them, take, take their interest, you know, from the practice, the practice point, not only the theoretical points. And what I can recommend them, the first and uh, important thing is English. English is essential. Okay, they have to learn English because they have excellent tools nowadays, not like in the past. Even you don't need to go to English language courses, you can learn at home doing some practices. And uh, on top, maybe one, another language. It is to enlarge their network to communicate well with the other side of the world. Actually. Are you offering any special vocational trainings or education programs from Lufthansa cargo side in the Turkish market? Actually, we do a lot, very intense in Germany. Uh, okay. However, in, in Turkey, we do, we do have uh, internships here and we do accept some of the uh, students mm -hmm. every year, one or two. And we, do, we try to support as much as we can because if you can imagine, we are, we are in a, uh, here in a branch. It's not a main hub like Turkish Airlines. Despite of this, we do our best to support. But the second thing is very important. They should also think out of, of the box those talents, you know, not, uh, not only let, like break the barriers, think, as I said, out of the box. And the third and very important uh, part is hard work, but hard work with balancing the social life well mm -hmm. will be the third and last recommendation tip from my side. Thank you. Hassan Bey, thanks for joining our Chai and Simi talk. I wish you very nice and interesting contacts and discussions with your customers and maybe potential customers during the logi transfers. Thank you. Thank you very much.